Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Thompson from eResearch. How are you today, Chris? Great. Thank you, Tracy. Chris, you've just put out a new report, the Atlantic Gold Industry Report. Congratulations. Please start by telling us what made you write this substantial piece of coverage on that particular sector. Well, it's a, it's a very interesting area these days. Um, there's been some recent uh, you know, uh, high-grade or bonanza-style discoveries in the area and that have brought a lot of exploration activities there and a lot of interest to investors like myself. And so uh, it, it attracted me to start digging into the various companies uh, in, in the area. I know you don't want to give this full report away, but can you give us a couple of the report highlights uh, so that people can really call you, write you, and get a copy of the C Research Report? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, for most people, they're, not, they're quite unaware that the, um, the, the North American uh, first gold rush discoveries happened in 1782 in, in, in the U.S., uh, as well as gold has been explored for in, in, uh, in the Atlantic region of Canada since the, the mid-1800s. So it's a, it's a very sort of uh, unknown area. And so I went through and, and did a, an investigation of uh, the area and, and looked at about 40 publicly traded companies um, that cover the area that runs all the way from South Carolina all the way up to the island of Newfoundland along the Atlantic East Coast. What attracted me to this uh, report from the, the various uh, companies that were in the region, it's a fairly uh, unknown region for a lot of investors. Uh, the U.S. Southeast was one of the first sites of a gold rush in North America dating back to 1782, and, and gold has been mined in Atlantic Canada since the mid-1800s. But most uh, people are unaware of that there are at least, uh, you know, 40 companies, public companies, uh, exploring and, and mining in the area. And uh, so I, I was putting on my analyst hat. I wanted to dig, dig deep down and, and, and find the gems uh, within this area. And, and that's what I did. And of course, you know me, Chris. Tell us, can you give us the number one gem out of these 40 in the Atlantic Gold Overview? What are the, give me the number one, one through three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there was there was forty companies mentioned in the report, so it's it's kind of hard to pull out three. But we did, we did actually have three uh, uh, featured companies in the report. Uh, one of them is uh, Aston Bay, and, and they're exploring in their Buckingham Gold project down in Virginia. Uh, what makes Aston Bay quite interesting is they've had some, as I mentioned before, some bonanza grade, which is sort of uh, you know greater than thirty two grams ounce of gold uh, from some of their drill results. Uh, another project that I, I really like the company was uh, Sokoman Minerals, uh, and they're actually in, in central Newfoundland, and they've had a couple of very high-grade and long width holes, you know, more than 40 grams per ton gold over four or five meters, as well as over 60 grams per ton. And these are the numbers which get um, over about eight meters, and these are the types of numbers which gets investors really excited. But the third interesting project that, that came into the report was uh, Magnetera Minerals, and they're slightly different because they already have uh, resources in the company. They have uh, two projects in New Brunswick that have already 150,000 ounces and two projects uh, in Newfoundland with over 250,000 ounces. And their goal is to become a, a dominant player in the region and to try to get at least 2 million ounces of gold over the next uh, three to five years. And of course, it's no secret, Chris, that you're one of my absolute favorite analysts in the entire marketplace. But for those of you out there in investor intel land that may not be familiar with Chris Thompson, can you tell me the number, give me the number one reason why uh, you should curl up with your uh, report this weekend and read it from cover to cover. Give us the number one reason. Uh, the number one reason is it would spend, you would take uh, months as I did, to collect this information in one spot uh, and, and allow you to be able to analyze, uh, you know, 40 companies, 40 gold companies, publicly traded, so you can invest in them uh, in the region. Um, and to, to gather that amount of information, it would take you a long time. And you can use that to, you know, help you make a, a, a wise investment uh, in, in the, the gold space, which at this time is still pretty exciting uh, with gold being up at, uh, you know, 1700 or more uh, dollars an ounce. 
Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. And for those of you out there that want to take advantage of this excellent piece of research, I recommend that you do review it. And if you have any questions, to email us at Investor Intel, and we'll get them to Chris Thompson. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you, Tracy. Have a great day.